Today, I will be talking a little about evolutionary theory and natural selection. I will be going over Charles Darwin, the law of natural selection, new and existing species, and adaptation. Charles Darwin has been credited for the discovery of the basic mechanisms that account for transformation of species over a long period of time. He believed that unchanging laws of nature applied over time. Darwin was very focused and with the period of over 20 years, he developed his theory of how species can change and adapt into new plant or animal forms. And now we move on to the law of natural selection. This law predicts that behavior is going to adapt to the environment in which it occurs. Every species produces more offspring than can survive to reproduce because of limitations of food supply and natural dangers. Darwin observed that there were lots of variability among members in the same location. He predicted that if the environment changed, only a certain variation of organisms would survive. Now we move on to new and existing species. In this process, new species may emerge and existing species may become extinct. The extinction process is considered to be a natural process. This may also occur when individual species are reduced to very small numbers, so therefore inbreeding occurs and weakens the generic strain. Changes in the environment have a huge effect in the natural selection process. All of this can occur due to climate, diseases, or rapidly growing predators. And last but not least, we move on to adaptation. Adaptation is defined as the process that underlies evolutionary change. So what does this all mean? Adaptation means that people and animals continue to evolve and adapt to certain situations in their current and new environment. In my next slide, you will hear from my friend Evelyn, who moved across the country and had to learn how to adapt to her new environment. I moved to New York City a week after my college graduation, after having spent the first 21 years of my life in California. I ended up making it my home for nine years, and in that time I saw countless people relocate from California and other states, only to leave a few months later. When I think back to what set me and the rest of my transplant friends apart from the people who didn't last long were certain characteristics that we all already possessed and also the ability to adjust to things that were very outside of our nature. For example, a characteristic that helped me to be successful in New York was my natural aggressiveness. Whether that meant having to shove countless individuals out of the way to make it onto the train that I needed or befriending a group of strangers in any situation. Some of the conditions that weren't in my nature but that I adapted to were things like cold weather, public transportation, small living quarters, always being surrounded by people, and constantly being on the go. That's only to name a few. I believe Charles Darwin's valid explanation on evolutionary theory has revolutionized the way we learn to adapt. It has become an important theory that clearly draws attention as to how species need variability in order for them to survive. 